Hey doing folks, Liam here and welcome to episode one of my production diary for my short film Primal. So essentially, just to give you a bit of context, today is the 25th of March 2020. I'm in quarantine slash self-isolation and uh, I'm going through the footage of all this behind the scenes coverage that I got over my short film and I'm now piecing it all together. So. For reference, my, my my short film is complete. It's completely finished and it's doing a festival run. So with all the festivals at the moment, they're all like myself in quarantine and everything's been postponed. So I thought it would be a good idea regarding promotional material to show you some uh, behind the scenes without giving you too many spoilers. Uh, I don't know how it's going to end all, the, all these episodes, but I may end up just screening this online and uh, withdrawn from competitions, or well, certain ones, depending on the uh, the release dates and how this whole quarantine thing is going to work out. So I've got a wee bit of work lined up from home for the next couple of weeks. Uh, if I release maybe three episodes a week, we might be here for another month or two. So uh, I'm going to try and spread it out as best I can, and uh, we're going to hop right into this first episode. So I'm just going to give you a quick director's commentary over some of the stuff because there's a bit of a lull in some of this footage because it's very raw and you can see that we're trying to figure out what we're going to do uh, regarding filming. This is essentially a pre vis choreography day and uh, let's get straight into it. So as you can see this is shot on the uh, 1st of November 2019. This is nearly six months ago. It's, this feels like yesterday. Jesus. So the location that I'm using is a house that my nanny and papa owned and uh, they had a garden and plenty of space so I want to I want to take advantage of that and use all the utilities that I have. So this was the location for the choreography day. You should probably notice that I've actually used this house in my previous short film slash music video dedication to the thin Lizzie's dancing in the moonlight. So Action. So Moses is chasing me and he uh, discovers me here. Uh, I actually took a trip down to the location a couple of days before this and I found that the on the day location that we're using, which is provided by a good friend of mine, James, uh, his land had a hill with an oak tree and uh, the plan was that we were going to use that hill in the film. My nanny and papa's garden had a hill, so this is just me trying to mimic what we were going to do on the day. On the day means like the day we're shooting mm -hmm. the film. So as you can see here, Musa has a boxing background, he's been doing it for a couple of years. And I have a taekwondo slash karate background. I've been training my martial arts for 12 years. I don't know how many years Moose has been doing it, but he's very well experienced. So the whole idea of this fight that we're trying to make here is uh, realism. So from a, a, a filmmaker's standpoint, the antagonist and the protagonist, so Moose being the antagonist, me being the protagonist, we're going to have a bit of back and forth. So this is us trying to establish distance and trying to figure out each other's styles. Have you ever watched uh, Yip Man with Mike Tyson? Yeah. He comes in close yeah. and he's a wolf like a peekaboo style. There we go. That. There we go. So, go that and I'm referencing Yip Man 3 right where Mike Tyson right. fights Donnie Yen. Uh, do that again. Do the whole thing again. So start here and walk around. So we're literally figuring this out as we go. Right. Which is typically the way I always make films and thing. how I do things in life. It's just so jump into the deep end see, how, <laughs> see if I can float. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right, okay. So I'm trying to I think it works better on a cup. make this we'll a bit more difficult than it has to be here. I'm trying to make Moshe and I have the fight and then Matt kind of dance with us, which happened on the night with a different like cameraman, but so in this rehearsal, do, yeah. it didn't really work out. Okay. So, we'll do that again. 
it's very important to know when to just listen and just take what your cameraman slash DOP and is saying and one. just get on with the work and you can figure all this out in the edit regarding yeah. the, the rehearsal and then when it comes to the shoot day you're prepared and you know your limitations so there's me my wee thumbs up I fall over so it's a bit of a tennis match here you know Mosa hits me I hit it Mosa Mosa hits me I hit Mosa this is my retaliation from falling over again trying to maintain distance and trying to gain a bit of a, a gap so I can then lead into using my kicks due to my taekwondo background and karate you know kicks are a great way to get your opponent out of the way and just for reference my technique isn't of the best standard all because I'm trying to figure things out these are just me throwing some floppy kicks floppy I mean sloppy sloppy kicks just because I'm too busy trying to think of other things but on the day you know I was reviewing the footage and making sure that I was popping out the best side kicks I could do so a lot of this like in real life you'd only really maybe get one kick in like, I would really just go for the, the back kick hook kick but you don't really ever go with a back kick as your first kick hence why I'm doing the side kick first you never want to turn your back on your opponent it's the idiotic thing you can do so this is the, uh, the part where it all goes to hell in real life if you hit the floor in my martial art you're dead but we're going for realism in this so like all street fights it's probably going to end up on the ground so this is where we have a wee bit of a predicament trying to figure out where we're going to go from this this fall so even like follow my leg so it's going to go for this slow motion so we step in roundhouse kick so it'll be i have to react get my reaction here and then we're going to focus on mosa so that's me then mosa again coverage trying to get my reaction and then mosa's so this is quite a realistic thing, you know, him being a boxer, he's figured out that I do kicks, he grabs my kick. <laughs> Don't ever knee someone in the groin unless you are in a dire situation. <laughs> it scares me sometimes how casual I say things. But that's just me being an instructor, slash, that's where my training comes in. Here we go. So there, it's just a basic karate sweep. There we go. Mosa with the great recommendation to do a arc hand essentially to the throat. Where I fall on my back. So this is where we were trying to figure out like how do I get out of this? And uh, we're gonna go through a very basic self-defense move here. But this is where it gets a bit silly. So I'm trying to mention that maybe kick Mosa on the way down, which really in real life would never happen. Once someone's on top of you and they've got all that momentum, there's no way you're going to be able to swing your leg up and kick them in the head. So this is where Matt steps in and I think he mentions that it's not very realistic. I agree with what Matt's saying. Then he goes off on a tangent about locking legs and stuff. But the idea is, you know, like, most just push me onto the floor. Whenever you're in that situation, you know, if you've got your opponent on the floor and you're on top, you're in a very powerful situation or a powerful position to finish your opponent. So we're going to prioritize that and make that a, a, a focal point. 
Whereas if I was just to fall back and kick him in the head, like, it makes no sense. But the problem is, he's letting go. So you can see that Moses is just kind of letting go and letting me fall. Whereas what he really would be doing is diving in and trying to finish me off. So what's happening is I'm trying to figure out the grab. I'm also trying to figure out how this is all going to play out in the film, in my head. So there's a gap where you're going to go, oh, I need to go, oh, I'm going to embrace it. So I'm going to grab him. So there's the kick, I'm going to grab him and pull him down. Right, yeah, that makes more yeah, sense. There we go, and then you get the flip. That makes a lot more sense. So it's kind of funny now because what happens is uh, I engage on full mount essentially. So again, you know, you're going from Mosa hitting me, I'm hitting Mosa, Mosa hitting me, I'm hitting Mosa, so now I'm on top trying to finish him off. So my retaliation was grabbing him, pulling him to the floor, and trying to take control. And this is the whole dramatic part, you know, missing punches, like that wouldn't really happen in real life. It's, you know, I'm on top trying to finish this guy off, because... So we're doing a bit of a self-defense technique here. So I'm trying to teach Musa how to get a person off, off him. Oh, you crack, bro! <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of hear it, but his back cracks here. You know, um, it was a big click. So essentially what happens is you dip your hips up and at the same time you flip, but it all has to be one movement. So if I'm leaning on top of someone, Sorry, if someone's leaning on top of me, I'm trying to make their weight come over and push them on top of me, and push them off me. So that's what happened. Now we're talking about uh, doing a Fast and Furious where I get hit and he gets hit and we knock each other out, which is just stupid, but let's not get into that. So again, uh, we're nearly at the end of this video, but you've got to remember that you got to review footage, and that's what we did here. And then, me being a dope, forget to use the actual crash mat there and hit my head on the floor. So let's just watch it. <laughs> Always remember to use a mat. Especially if it's just lying there, you know. Exactly. You need a hit. And then Matt mentions using a headbutt in the film. Nobody wins with a headbutt. Boom. There we go. And then the overreacting and the uh, Oscar nomination goes to. Yeah, you just gotta get, engage that. It's kinda, and then this is just a, a mention to the ending of the film. Uh, it's just a very experimental idea. We'll have to wait and see if this is how it ends. I didn't actually hit him there. He clapped his hands or clapped his jacket. Yeah. Okay. That look better? Yeah, there's a noise. So folks, that's us. Um, I'm just going to leave it to my past self to sign us out here and to give us a bit of an overview. But as usual, it was a pleasure speaking to you and I will chat to you very soon. Uh, moving on to the next episode where actually, I think it, we're going to go visit the location and we're going to do a bit of a scout. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Right, see you later. Alright folks, so we're here. Uh, we just finished our first day of the choreography of Run. Uh, how did you think it went? Well, 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 very creative. It was, uh, it was testing each other's boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It was good. It was yeah, good. What did yeah. you think of it? Good, considering we didn't actually have any idea what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. We just kind of threw ourselves up out the floor a yeah. couple of times and we figured out, well, we, 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 what we do, we took our, um, we took our experiences from actually fighting yeah. and what we would really do in a real fight yeah. and then we just rocked it out yeah. um, and we've just got the bare bones mm -hmm. at the moment and then Definitely. we're going to build upon that and add more mm -hmm. angles. So we've got the pacing down as well, which mm -hmm. is quite natural. Yeah, which is real nice. It was very, um, very referenced Ip Man versus Van Damme type, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. type Mike Tyson yeah. type of type of fight. But you guys, you check check in. It's gonna be really really interesting. Yeah. Well, really what do you fun. think of it, Matt? What did you? Um, you think I'll have to see with more coverage. Right. Okay. Great. And well, better lighting. More coverage. Okay. <laughs> so, if you just want to know, this is actually the same place that we shot on. I'm walking home.
<laughs> so yeah, this is where we use today, and we might use it again at some point. Um, but we just messed about. There's a what do you call it? We've got the mat over there. That really used it quite well. Um, like this really was our playground today. Yeah, pretty much. Make sure you use it. If he's already in a bit of choreography, make sure you bring a mat with you. Because yeah. the last thing you want to do is get a concussion from yeah. the overacting. So uh, pretty much, pretty much just leave you at that. Um, went really well. Mm -hmm. First rehearsal, over and out. <laughs>